actually when I have reflected on this gospel and even the first reading I thought always of my homily in a wedding no? that I usually also proclaim this gospel with the Lord's commandment love one another as I love you because I usually throw at the couple no? it's love one another I mean you have to love each other not to love another one <laughs> and again <clears throat> Even in our personal relationship with the Lord, it's very important because it should be a response you know, to His love for us. Because if there's one great love that is shown to us, is it's His love. Because He offered His love for us even unto death. And because of that, our love for Him and love for each other is actually just a response. And that is why He ultimately said that it is not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go to bear fruit that will remain. So that commitment and fidelity just like in any married life is also demanded of us in our relationship with the Lord and if we love any other one be it a person or a thing of the world more than the Lord then it's a betrayal to his love for us so we pray that our love in the first place is deeply rooted in the love of Christ and in whatever we do, we say and in whatever relationship that we have again, it's always in and with the Lord otherwise that love is not that kind of love that he is asking us as his disciples. We pray for such a commitment and fidelity to him. Amen. Amen.